services. Uh, one of these concepts are event sourcing and CQRS. And today, uh, tonight, I will make uh, some uh, presentations and examples in, uh, and I will make some uh, workshop or coding uh, session uh, with our uh, open source framework. In, indeed, we are going to make uh, our, our framework open source. Uh, and But in main goal, I will try to uh, describe event sourcing and CQRS basics. Uh, so I will start with some presentations. I will uh, try to uh, explain these uh, methodologies and I will make some simple uh, applications or some services, microservices in here. So I think, uh, uh, is there anyone uh, who made some uh, event sourcing of three QRS based projects in here? Uh, I need uh, I need to know uh, level of the audience. Maybe uh, nobody here, nobody here heard before, or some of us made good uh, projects. I don't know. Uh, you can uh, you can write down to the uh, chat, or you can raise hand. Okay, we have one. Uh, we can one. We have one parent, he knows two concepts. Okay, so first of all, uh, ah, this is a new concept. I will try to explain the concepts, these concepts uh, with presentation. Um, I think, is it okay? And probably you'll make uh, two session, uh, half hour each. Uh, it will be better uh, because uh, I will present some slides and code, make some codings. If we continue one and a half hour, it will be boring, maybe. So, yeah, and you can ask break, break, uh, of course. Uh, let's start. Uh, I think you you can see this, this presentation. Uh, is there any way, any way to uh, zoom? Can you see uh, can you see slide now? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, our topic is uh, event sourcing and CQRS. CQRS means Command Query Responsible Segregation. Uh, First of all, uh, in in the past times, we have monotic applications. Uh, all of resources are in stored in, in the RDBMS, so we make some transactions across these resources. It was easy. It was easy to implement, but uh, today uh, microservices come to the uh, come into our lives, and things are changed and. And we have a lot of microservices for uh, different concepts. For example, as you see in here, uh, normally uh, you can uh, keep these all of uh, resources in the same database and same applications. But in microservices, we will divide into the small parts and deploy into the anywhere or use, reuse it. And uh, if you uh, if you get some idea. Uh, some benefits from microservices. Uh, it has a lot of benefits, but uh, there are a lot of challenges too. Uh, for example, in this example, there are three microservices and three resources. Uh, it is easy, uh, and we have a lot of uh, advantages for using microservices. But uh, when we start to implement and uh, and our product becomes uh, bigger, it will uh, become more complicated and uh, we may have hundreds of microservices. And so uh, normally we will implement uh, business procedures in same transactional blocks, but when we enter the microservices world, uh, it, it's not that easy. 
Uh, for example, you have a lot of uh, microservices, for example, in, in this uh, slide. You have to, uh, for example, one of operation one of operation may uh, may affect a lot of uh, microservices. For example, uh, in this one, uh, one operation affects uh, different microservices, and these microservices are using different uh, type of uh, database. For example, it it doesn't need to be RDMS, and and when you make one operation, you have to uh, know that uh, if this operation success or if fails, you need the uh, rollback or uh, know uh, it's failing. And you need some uh, rollback uh, actions, for example. In past times, you can do uh, transactional rollbacks or some custom rollback logics. Uh, but when you make uh, this type of operation on different microservices, you need to make these uh, microservices key stay consistent uh, between each other. Uh, so uh, there are some solutions for this. Uh, for example, two-phase commit, maybe. Uh, each microservices holds uh, resource and holds resource with this, uh, after these commands, after these actions, and uh, commits uh, are uh, in the end of the uh, operation, for example. But uh, two-phase commit is not that good bec uh, because you, all of microservices must have, uh, keep these records busy. It is pessimistic looking. It's not good. And we have some uh, eventual consistent solutions on this. And for example, let me show a classical example. And in classical example, uh, if we use, uh, it's, I will make uh, examples with Spring, uh, Spring, Spring and Spring Boot. Uh, for example, uh, let me share my IntelliJ. For example, if you have some uh, service and you in monolithic applications, you you put uh, transaction annotation and make some uh, repository operations, and it will be commit or rollback at the end of the method. It was uh, it was easier and like that, but in uh, microservices uh, world, it is different. Let me switch back to. The uh, presentations. It is not easy in microservices work because all of these services are in different microservices or different databases. Uh, you may not know. You might not know. And it is normal coding. Uh, it is previous example. To solve uh, this problem. Uh, you have to uh, make these uh, different microservice operations consistent. And you can make these operations in eventual consistent. Uh, for example, you can use uh, event channels and instead of, uh, for example, the REST uh, invocations, you can use uh, event channels and services can uh, interact with events. So uh, ser if one of service fails, uh, when, um, when this service can retry or uh, another service can try these operations. And this is the uh, main uh, helper we can use. After this, uh, this event-driven design, and if you know we can uh, keep records like entities and events. And for example, this is the classical uh, event entity table. Uh, each record shows uh, current status of the entity. And uh, when you make a uh, transaction on the different tables, uh, it will be a principle. 
but uh, you can keep records like this. It is uh, event, event by event. When you sum up these events, you will uh, eventually get these uh, entities you make. So it is uh, nearly equivalent. And I, th I think events, is, events site is uh, better because uh, it will give you uh, more information, more capabilities. So in event sourcing, uh, instead of recording entities, you will record uh, events. And whenever somebody asks you uh, current state of, of the event, uh, events and you uh, you get a resulting entity if you wish and uh, you can use uh, event channels or event and event stores you, you have to store events and publish these events uh, for different microservices so it's more like audit log audit logging uh, there is no uh, entity record uh, you can keep entities but uh, the main uh, main uh, main uh, main truth uh, uh, main uh, resources are keeping keep as events. If you if you under if I think uh, for example uh, you can keep these uh, and these events as entities too, but uh, our uh, real records are events. So when, uh, when someone asks you, for example, current state of stock one, uh, you will sum up these uh, events and uh, see the result. So when we uh, divide and it, uh, you have to divide uh, operations which change, uh, which store events and uh, queries. And at that level, uh, SQLs come into the uh, light. And it, because when you, uh, when we uh, divide entities into the uh, events, uh, we have to divide commands and queries uh, because we, when somebody uh, wants, uh, we wants one operation, we will record the event. And if somebody asks results of the, uh, these events, we have to uh, calculate and uh, present the result. It is uh, different uh, than uh, normal RDBMS operations. Uh, yeah, this is the. So there are some topics in this area. For example, aggregates uh, and commands. And in my example, I will show uh, commands, queries, and these events, and how to keep how how I keep it. Yeah. For example, if. Uh, Assume that we have an order and payment microservice. We are recording these events into the uh, one persistent layer, and we can publish these events on uh, messaging system. And services can uh, handle these messages and record their uh, next states or uh, next events into their uh, into the uh, persistent layer. In my example, uh, for example, I am using Cassandra to keep events and publish on the Kafka. You can use uh, Kafka as the person layer too, but uh, it is hard to query or uh, index. So um, I will use Kafka as the event channel. Uh, microservices will, uh, microservices, uh, will um, communicate between each other with Kafka, and they will, these microservices will keep records on the Cassandra. Uh, when, if when you are going to apply SQLs, uh, you will have have some commands, and you will uh, uh, these commands are uh, responsible to store uh, uh, store 
as events. Store events and queries will calculate the result of these events. We have one advanced topic, uh, snapshots in this area. Uh, you can imagine uh, maybe uh, sometimes you have you may have a lot of events when you when you make query you have to calculate a lot of rows. Uh, at that level you can use snapshotting to make uh, these calculations uh, faster. Not faster, uh, you, you are skipping calculations uh, with some policies. Uh, so I will make some demo. Uh, in that demo, I, will, I have uh, three services, uh, order service, uh, stock service, and payment service. These services are uh, tightly coupled normally, but we have divided into the microservices and we make some operations across uh, these services. Some operations are not, uh, are, ju are just affects one microservice and one of the operation. For example, when you create stock, mm, uh, there's no effect on payment or order. When you create order, uh, there's no effect on each other. When you process order, uh, I mean, with process, uh, you are taking payment and and uh, reducing your stock. So uh, this will affect our three, three services. So I will uh, show the, uh, show the, uh, the uh, event store, uh, in these, event, these events and commands and queries. And maybe uh, I will give some, uh, some hints about operation stores. So that is the uh, quick recap of the CQRS and event sourcing. And, and okay, this was the quick recap. Uh, I think uh, you heard uh, some of these topics. So I make uh, fast, I made fast. Uh, is there any question you, you wish to ask before? I switch to the coding. Ah, yes, it is. Uh, yes, it is order services, the uh, aggregate route generally. And uh, it, it uh, it depends on the uh, operation. Uh, generally, I am using uh, term operations instead of aggregate because aggregates uh, is kind of hard to uh, put into uh, put into the uh, uh, enterprise terms. When you say uh, aggregate, everyone uh, are uh, everyone uh, imagine it, it is different than the. Uh, normal aggregate. They think uh, like in uh, database aggregates. Yeah, command is sent to the aggregate. Yes. Ah, let's make an example. Uh, I will show the examples. For example, we have a stock service, stock service, as you see, uh, you are getting a create command, a create stock command, and stock service versus stock creates event in it is uh, database. And it, at the moment, nobody uh, listens to these uh, stock created event. If you listen, you can take uh, operation, you can make some operations, but uh, nobody listens. For example, when we create uh, stock, uh, it will just create one uh, event. For example, when we create order, uh, imagine you are just uh, you are on the website and you just uh, put some items onto your uh, your basket, but you are not proceeding yet. So uh, these are the uh, simple commands. It will just store one. It will just generate one events. And when we make checkout, it is uh, this is the hard business. We will reserve stock make payments and change the state of the order. 
and we are changing state of the order many times because you are starting a, a payment, you are starting order, you are starting to pay order, uh, reserving stone, paying order, etc. Et if all things are successful, uh, you will become uh, you will become uh, order uh, paid. This is the example uh, I am going to uh, show. Is it good or is it clear? Okay. Yes. Uh, it, this is the simple scenario in uh, real. Uh, yeah. Yes. And in our example, we have made uh, automat automatic rollback. For example, if one of these commands fails, uh, it will trigger fail event and all of these operations are uh, rolling back. Rolling back means uh, they are invalidating uh, events uh, corresponding to the disaggregate. And in real life, you can make some uh, extensions for the custom rollbacks. Uh, normally I am on the my database, but in normal world, normal world, you will make a payment with the bank. Uh, so you have to implement custom uh, steps for the rollbacks. But in this one, I will leave default rollbacks as invalidating previous events. And uh, in normal world, you need some uh, steps. And for example, like this one, there are these type of events too. Uh, oh, not enough. Now uh, order fail. It is an example, and you can uh, make some branches on the on your uh, on your flow. It is not a, this is the heavy pads. And I didn't want to make uh, one uh, big tree. Uh, and I made it simple, but uh, we are checking stocks. And if uh, stock is not enough, we will roll back. And in real world, you can uh, take uh, custom actions when you don't have stock. But we are just uh, failing. Okay, and these all operations are eventually consistent. Uh, when you uh, when you when you when you send the uh, command, you will not get result directly, and you are just getting some IDs of the events. And after that, you are asking questions: uh, What's the result of this event, or what is the uh, current state of the entity? Maybe after some time, this uh, this uh, result of the, this command will uh, affect the real uh, entities or, or uh, evaluations. So uh, that is the, our examples. And do you, do you have any more questions? Okay. Let's implement this one. Uh, um, okay. I will share my IntelliJ. Yes, let's clear this area a little bit. Okay. So, yes, I have three, uh, four. One is monotic applications example. Uh, the other three one is the microservices. Uh, it is one order service, payment service, stock service. And let's implement the uh, stock. Uh, it is the first example. And we will make some uh, commands. Uh, 
for example. And we can do create stop command. Yes. And implements and stop download uh, I have I have implemented details uh, before the uh, presentations because uh, creating details will take a lot of time. I have uh, created stock command, for example. It will take stock name and uh, number of stock, remaining stock. And I have uh, command handlers. There are methods for these command handlers. And I will, um, and I will take uh, one event repository. Repository, yes. And one uh, query. Uh, query. Query. Yes. Uh, so, when we get uh, create stock command, uh, we will uh, we will record event and publish these events. Uh, and I will um, just write this one and we stop create event. Yeah, uh, I will take command and generate this stop created event. Yes, this one. Um, great one. Let's write these uh, one by one. Meaning stop. One of the meaning stop. Let's write. This is the simplest, simplest example of this uh, event. And uh, it will just uh, persist event into our uh, database uh, in Cassandra, it's example. So uh, let's make this, uh, this one is uh, rest controller and I will put some in here. Um, value. What was the stop create? Create. Consumes method. Okay, uh, this method just uh, creates stock. Let's, um, I will, uh, I have, I have Cassandra, uh, which stores these uh, events. Mm, yeah. Okay. Let's run this. Okay.
I am using Spring Boot uh, to apply these uh, examples and we get some errors. Why? Ah, yeah. Uh, it requires, uh, because uh, we are, uh, we put this view and it asks uh, how can I calculate these views? Uh, so I have to uh, I have to uh, create uh, these some uh, calculations. For example, we are recording events one by one. Uh, in uh, this stock is created, it is reduced, it is increased, etc., etc. And you need some code uh, to build uh, these events into this uh, entity. So I have to uh, write. Let's write in, in here. Yes. Mm. It is examples. Ah, no, commands doesn't need that. Ah, no, it doesn't need just uh, when, if we, in, in, if we put some query uh, or uh, if we implement some uh, query, it will ask, uh, how can I calculate this? If you, if you don't put any query, uh, you don't need to any uh, calculator. Let's Ah, it's extends. Constructor. Let's put this one, this one, yes. And this is the V uh, calculator, and it will take previous state, previous state of the V, it will take event, this event, and uh, it will return uh, next state of the event. For example, in this one, uh, we are uh, setting uh, get event data, not the get stock name. Yes, this is the event name. So create the event. Remaining stock. Remaining stock. Um, it is next one now. Uh, it is empty state of the uh, of the uh, entity. Uh, it doesn't any uh, field field. It is a initial state of the entity. Uh, this means. Uh, when we get command, it will create uh, it will create events, store it into the our event store, and when we query uh, this stock, uh, we will uh, it will build stock with these uh, functions. So let's start ag again. Ah, uh, I have to, I will make some Neum builds. Mm. Stop service, lifecycle, compile. I need to 
examples. Okay, let's try it again. Ah, oh. I have to. I have to close some of these services. Yes. Service empty. Service empty. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I have a lot of example in here. Sometimes uh, it requires some uh, operations for from Maven. Okay. Oops. Test is empty because let me check. Parent and spell. Mm, why? So, yes. I have to make some clean. Uh, put on my local. Okay, I will activate stock service. Okay. Okay, our stock service uh, at last it is running and I will make some uh, query, some uh, request on the stock service and I will uh, let me show my uh, risk client. Okay, this one, yes. Uh, do you see uh, this the uh, command? Uh, I run this command and okay. For example, uh, I have implemented create stock command and triggered in here, and it returns me some IDs, not a result, and I can uh, query these uh, stock after creation, of course. For example, uh, it has created this uh, stock. Uh, it has zero stock. Oh, is it? Yeah, it is zero stock. And there is no name for it. Okay. And let me check the, uh, these uh, events. Yes, 
Uh, let me show the Cassandra. Mm -hmm. I think I should switch back to desktop. Yes, it's um, and this is the uh, Cassandra. For example, when we record these events, uh, it, there is an entry in the uh, Cassandra. For example. Uh, event type is stock created event and uh, let me show the data and data. yes this is the data of the event uh, when we change uh, stock uh, there will be um, uh, more events with the same entity ID and uh, and uh, with different event types. So when we need the result of the, this, uh, this uh, when we query this stock, uh, it will uh, calculate all of these events and uh, show the result. Okay, let me check uh, why this is working wrong. Uh, this is the command because uh, I didn't put uh, here request body. Body. Okay. This is better. I'm just uh, I I'm just putting uh, rest. I'm just uh, just instead of uh, implementing new uh, new rest controller, I, I just put uh, these uh, uh, annotations into these into my command. Okay, let's try it again. In here, create stock. Uh, that's the stock ID. Okay, this is my new stock. It's the remaining stock, name, etc. It is working correctly. Um, we have completed uh, this step, and I think uh, I will skip uh, skip uh, in this step because I implemented uh, in same manner, and I will show uh, this one. Okay, let's make some uh, break. Because uh, you may have some, you may need, you may have some questions. I will answer that. After that, we will continue to implement uh, this one. And uh, I made example uh, implement uh, re written example for uh, this one. But uh, we can, uh, we may implement some of the parts. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, thank you. Okay, guys, do you need break or not? Tell me something.
Oh, let me share intelligent. Okay. Okay, we can make uh, while uh, taking a break. Uh, I will I will implement the orders commands in here. We have. A, we have here, in here we have already implemented version, so I will copy because I am uh, it is hard to write in here. That's the new service, and I just put this command. Okay. Yes. Uh, this command just creates. Uh, it, it is already on the event of this repository. But it's on the branch at the moment. We will uh, publish new branch uh, as soon as possible as a release. When we complete all of uh, documentations, unit tests, etc. Uh, this is the order creation. It just creates the order. As you see, it's simple. Um, let's let's make this service. Service. Um, order. Absolutely. Let's compile it. Uh, you don't need to write these function specs uh, instead in uh, inside of the command. I just write here uh, to make uh, things clear. And this is the event. Generally, all everyone thinks uh, as uh, entities. And it will show how it affects these entities. It's the create order command. It's simple. And I will, let's continue, by the way. And I will uh, create this process order command. What process order command does? It will take process order command detail and, and it will uh, record resource stock events. For example, let's put in here. Yes. This process order command, uh, you are creating, uh, you are uh, you are making uh, operation on one order. And in this order, you are executing, uh, if order in the initial state, you are reserving stock for this order. You record reserve stock when in this order. And uh, orders, if you, when you want, when you, when you make the query, you will see order state is processing and you uh, publish resource stock event uh, and record and publish. So, uh, so what is the next? Ah, yeah, stock service must uh, listen these resource stock event and uh, take some actions and Let's in it is uh, in stock service. We need some event handlers. Uh, it has to listen uh, Kafka and take action. Ah uh, yes, when you record, uh, I will show that. When you record event into the uh, Cassandra, you will uh, put some versioning, uh, like like it is in um, it is in MRS, uh, If you know MRS in Hibernate MRS, you are just increasing or uh, producing next version, uh, uh, subsequent version of the events. If 
somebody uh, somebody uh, recorded uh, event before you uh, I mean for same ID and version uh, if somebody recorded you will have some options in default if somebody recorded the event before just you you will get error concurrence error uh, somebody has changed these records example but you may have you may provide uh, concurrent resolvers for example uh, it, um, assume you have an order if uh, if you are going to uh, pro proceed order uh, your order must be in initial state. If somebody has already proceeded your order, uh, you cannot proceed. So uh, you have to be in uh, exact same state. So you will get concurrency error and you will uh, show the error to the user, show error to the user. But for example, in stock, uh, many people can uh, reduce the stock. For example, there are millions of stocks uh, people are getting five, ten, and uh, and can people can uh, record concurrent events? Uh, you don't need to. Uh, for example, you read stock, you create stock. It is five hundred, and you record. You say that uh, I have uh, reserved five, but somebody uh, can reserve uh, before you write that. And it will be, for example, stock result is 400. Still, you still you should uh, record these events because. Uh, so uh, there are concurrency resolves. Uh, uh, it is not a comparison swap. It is just. Uh, Try it is like an MS, try record. Uh, if it's success, okay. If it doesn't success, take an action. Uh, for example, in stock, you will require uh, what is the current state of the uh, stock. You will ask, and uh, if it's if it is still suitable, you can record it. But in in order state, uh, you are uh, recording next version of of next version. But if you get fail, uh, you just fail, uh, rise and error. It is more like a uh, case, but uh, we are not comparing a sweating, just we are uh, recording the next one. Uh, normally, uh, other frameworks uh, have uh, some concurrency resolvers. For example, one of the process are uh, listening uh, event channel and calculating uh, events. If some of events are violating terms or violating uh, nature of the uh, domain, business domain, it will rise an error. But uh, it, this, these type of solutions are taking action after recording event. Uh, it is dangerous, but we are uh, taking action before recording that. And events have some IDs uh, based on the aggregates, uh, if based on the entities, uh, and if somebody entities and versions. So we have, like in this example, do you see uh, DB viewer? DB viewer. If you see DB viewer, uh, let's share screen. Okay. If you see DB viewer, uh, these events uh, have primary keys and the ID and version. Um, when you make uh, new events, you will put these entity ID and versions. So based on the entity and the version, uh, you can only record one, uh, one record per these primary keys. Uh, so uh, this will create some uh, concurrence control for us. 
this is the uh, main advantage over recording event on the Kafka. If you put in the Kafka, you cannot uh, create or check these uh, constraints. You have to, uh, you need some uh, coprocessors after recording, putting event. Uh, and state and decide whether uh, this event is valid or not. Okay. Okay, okay let's go back to the IntelliJ. Uh, do you see uh, Zoom windows uh, right off of my screen? When I switch to desktop mode? Okay. Okay. Uh, this is the or, or create order command. Uh, and we will, yes. Okay. This is the process uh, or the command, sorry. And we will produce, we will make an in stock, for example. We have to, uh, after process order command, we will uh, rise reserve stock event, we will uh, take action for reserve stock event in stock. Um, let's go back to our stock service. This our stock service. We need listener. Let's copy in here. Yes, this is our event. Yes. Uh, this is a uh, listening resource stock event, and it will record uh, stock reserves. Uh, okay, order creates the resource stock event, and stock is re reserved, and it will record it on the stock uh, table uh, in Cassandra, and it will create new event. Oh, okay, stock reserved. You can, uh, it, it says you can go on, uh, stock is reserved. And when, when we put, uh, when we create this event, again, order service, we listen. It will uh, go to the next uh, operations, payment process, processing state. Okay, we have to reserve stock, let's uh, process payment. And Let's put this one too from here. Ah, so we want handler. It is stock reserved handler. Put in here. Uh, stock reserved handler. Let's put in here. Commands. Yes. Okay. Okay. We have completed this step. After this step, uh, payment process come into the uh, stage. Uh, he it has to listen payment process events and process the payments. And if it's successful, it will rise an new event. And let's activate uh, this service, payment service. This one. Okay. From the example. Uh, let's, this event. Not in this one, payment service. Our service is empty. I will copy in here. Yes. This is the, the payment event handler. It will listen payment process events and rise and uh, payment success. Or 
if we get some exceptions, uh, it can rise payment fee lands and orders can handle too, but it is just a happy pet at the moment. Okay, this event is just uh, listens and uh, publish new events. After that, uh, our order service must listen to this pain success and uh, make final actions. In for final actions, let's uh, let's put from here to uh, instead of writing, I am just copying because it, it takes a lot of time and. Pain success, you want to handle. Let's put in here. Yes. And at last order, listens pain success event and uh, process it. After that, uh, it will publish, okay, uh, order paid and it is the final event of this event. Uh, let's uh, compile this one. Mm. Samples compile. Okay, um, we have stock service, let me restart it. I will have one more service. It's new one, apply. Order service. And order stock and paint. Create new. Okay. So I think it was uh, step by step instead of writing all of codes, I just copied commands because it is uh, simple and uh, just um, just need to write these steps. Uh, and I am copying uh, event handler uh, with command too, but you can uh, write these events to the different microservices, for example. Uh, you don't need to write uh, in here. You can create different services for query. And then let me uh, let me run this scenario before before start. This is the stock. I have created one stock, and I will create one order. Let me put stock IDs. Okay, I have created this order. And this order I have created. Let me check the uh, current state of the order. For example, I have one record in the uh, order uh, table. And I have created three tables for order stock payment, but you we can put into the same table too. And uh, for better, uh, for uh, you don't you don't need to query uh, by table. Uh, you, for example, uh, you need some if you need some composite views consist of stock order payment etc. You may query these three tables instead of querying these the three tables. Uh, we can put into the same table, and if we can, so we can create composite queries. Uh, so I have created this one and I will make process on this query. 
Okay, let's process it. Okay. And I am expecting uh, this, uh, I'm expecting this order uh, will become paid in, instead of initial. Yes, it's paid. And I will query stock. Uh, this, what well, it is still, uh, because stock ID is wrong. Yes. Oops. Let me check. This is my stock ID. Um, this is my stock ID. Yes, uh, stock is reduced. This is the uh, sample example in here. In it works. Uh, for example, uh, let's try to uh, allocate uh, more stock than uh, than remaining stock. We will get error, and it will uh, become in and create order. It is uh, hundreds. Let's increase this one. Okay, I have increased. I will try to process order. Uh, it took, but uh, probably it will fail. Yes, no. Let me check stop result. Oh, it is minus because uh, we didn't make check for this one. It is uh, whether it is uh, more than this one or not. We are just uh, in decreasing stock and it will uh, just uh, go into the uh, mines. We have to uh, change this one. Uh, what is it? Uh, okay, anyway. Stock resort handler. Mm, let's check the stock service. Um, that's our land handler, that's our stock handler. Okay, I think we made mistakes in here. Anyway, we will. Anyway, uh, we made. Uh, I have three directories, and we will push these directories. And it's committed example. Uh, it is in the event of this directory. It will work uh, fine. Uh, just uh, it is hard to in, it is hard to uh, implement each step in uh, one hour. So uh, you can check this example. Uh, it will cover some failure uh, scenarios too. And that is the, uh, I think that is the end. And I can now we can uh, answer the questions. Okay. Okay, guys, do you have questions? Uh, you can follow uh, our event of this channel. In here, we will try to uh, commit more, uh, more business-ready features in here. Uh, currently, we are using, and we will try to make this open source, and we will make it more mature. And we, I will commit more uh, business-ready features in the uh, next weeks. Okay, you can check. Uh, Current in this branch, you can check this one. We have a lot of sample in here, uh, working samples, uh, and some resources, documentations, etc. Uh, do you have any questions? And you can check these resources too. Okay. So uh, let's make uh, discussions about it.
I think everyone, every, everybody fall asleep. Okay, do you have questions, guys? Okay, maybe we can uh, finalize. We are uh, record recording also the session and we will be publishing it in the Meetup channel. Uh, so in case of any uh, question about uh, uh, framework, we will, we will be happy to respond from you, you, from the, you can get in touch with us. Uh, yeah, we cool because uh, we are, we created uh, some APIs and Spring integration, for example, if you run into .NET, you may have to use uh, different frameworks. You don't need to use the same framework. Uh, at the moment, uh, but these methodologies can be uh, discussed and uh, make better, we can make better implementations.